workers are being crushed, the middle class is shrinking, and everybody's talking about inflation the last couple of years, of course, but inflation's a thing. They got a target. They got a target for a reason. If they like inflation for the same reason real estate investors like debt. The whole point is, how can I get that financial freedom and freedom being freedom to serve in an area you feel competent in and that you want to serve in? But you don't want to just go to work for a paycheck. Do something you're passionate about. And that passion can be freed up with just having that ability to say, I don't have to do this because I have savings and I can sustain myself with a drop in income doing something else if this goes against my beliefs. The problem is inflation kills wage earners. And of course, that's been accelerated the last couple of years. But it's sad that a lot of people don't own real assets or things that move with the financial system, the monetary system, I should say, because they're, we get conditioned to, to think that we're not smart enough to figure it out. I think what we saw with the mandatory shutdowns, mandatory vaccination, again, whether you're for or against it, I realized that all these, in quote unquote, conspiracy theories and concerns and freaking out the last 30 years that I've heard that I thought was a little too far out there, those are actually possible. Not only possible, some of those things are actually happening. And again, the, the only defense I can see to that, if you want to maintain some sort of freedom, freedom in what you want to do with your life and how you're going to live your life and where you're going to spend your time, you've got to build financial freedom. Otherwise, you're owned. 